Hey guys, welcome back to the second part of the video. Now, what we're going to do, uh, as a reminder, we're still doing chapter 12 about inventory management. And in the first video, it, it was just an application of basic theory and so on. So now it's about calculation. Now, what we're going to do in this video is the three, three uh, inventory model that we did. As a reminder, the first one was the um, basic uh, economic model. The second was the production uh model the second one the discount quantity model so this is what we'll be doing now in this video here i'll try to do uh probably the first two method and then the the third method we'll do it in the second video or with or the third part the second for calculation now depending on the length of the video so now what you're going to do now we're going to start with uh, the basic economic model so we're going to look for an exercise uh, i already got an exercise here that this one we're going to do and then after that we will do the second one for the production model now before uh whenever we get an exercise like this we need to read to get the data because whatever we have here is in form of is in the form of a statement so we need to really to take them and then to extract the data from the problem that we have here now the problem is about, uh, they say that the soft good department of a large department stores, uh, they sell, no, they sell 175 units per month of a certain large bath tower. So first of all, we have the number of units that are sold. Yeah, so we're gonna highlight them for calculation purpose only. Let's say we we'll highlight them in red. So whatever we get here is the D. So we take it down. We take it down, saying that um, the D for the problem as a big D is equal to 175 unit. Then after the, they say that uh, these are. By the way, they said they sell 175 units per month. So remember that the D is the annual one. So that means per year it needs to be 175 times 12, and the number that we get is. Uh, Mm, 2100 units this is per year so this is the d that we get now they say that they sell 175 units per month of a certain large bar tower now the holding cost for the tower to the store is 2.5 rent per a unit per year so the h is equal to 2.5 it's in rent so it's a cost so it's 2.5 uh, unit yeah uh, 2.5 rent per unit so this per unit per year this is our holding cost here sorry and the cost of placing an order has been estimated to be 12 rand. but now here by cost of placing an order they mean the setup cost they say the setup cost is equal to 12 rand. this is what we have here the cost of placing an order like this here is 12 rand. now they want us to determine the optimal order quantity now, by optimal order quantity, what they want us to estimate is to find the Q. They want us to find the optimal order quantity, the order frequency, like how many times are we going to order per year, which means also that it's N. And then the annual cost of inventory. Now, by annual cost, they mean the total cost. So those are the three items that they want us to find. Now they also say that if through automation the purchasing co the, uh, of the purchasing process the ordering cost can be cut to four do uh, four dollars in this case here let's keep it at rent. Um, what will be the next economic order quantity the frequency at the annual inventory management cost? So this is what we have, but this is the second part of the question that we're gonna do a bit later. So based on the information that we have here, let's try to solve uh, this. So these are the data that we get from the previous question so we have the big d which is equal to 2100 unit and we have the holding cost which is 2.5 and the setup cost so the first thing that they want us to find is the q which is the optimal size and the second thing based on the question uh, that we need to find is um, the optimal order quantity and the order frequency so the second is the order frequency which is nine and the third one is the total cost that they change. Remember that the total cost is equal to the annual cost plus the set of uh, annual um, holding cost. And the annual 
or green cost. Now, the first thing that we need to do, first of all, we need to start by finding Q. So according to the formula that we have here, these are the formula that you are supposed to do. Remember from the previous video, these are the formula that you are supposed to, to use because here we are working with the E or Q. Remember that we said that Q, this is the formula that you have to use, are supposed to be the square root of uh, 2 times D uh, divided by S. Right, it's okay. So we're going to insert a new equation here. Yeah, this is our equation. So I'm going to write down the formula first and then after will solve. So the formula is 2 times D times S and then divide by H. This is how we found our Q here. Now, based on the formula that we have, is just we, we just replace the for, the values here. The value of, of D is 2100 and the value of S is 12. And then, yeah. And the holding cost here is 12.5. Now, what we need to do here, we need to calculate our formula, so it's 2 times 200, and then times 12, we divide by 2.5. Now, based on the answer that we're going to get here is 141,98, actually it's 985, 9, that's going to run up to 9.9. .9. Now, the value that we get here is the optimal number of units. So, by this time here, what we, what we mean by optimal is like, the ordering cost and the holding cost are the same, the total of those costs. So we are not really making a loss in this case here. So we can keep it by, we, we can say it theory practically that uh, we need to order 142 units. But now we need to find also N. Now based on the formula that we need to, uh, based on the formula that we get N is equal to D divided by Q. And D is the annual demand while Q is the optimal one. So now that we got Q, we can find N, which is D divided by Q. And the value of the value of Z is 2,100 uh, that we're going to divide by 142. So 2,100 divided by 142 gives us 14,17, uh, 1788, 17, uh, which is going to go to 17.9. Now, this one is the number of orders per year that we're going to make it, so it orders per year. So that means we're going to we're gonna make a first order of 142 units. We don't know after how many times this one is how you find T, but yeah, it's not how this exercise here. Yeah. So that means the value of 14,79 means that we're going to make the first order of the year, we're going to order Q, which is 142. Second order, we order Q again, which is 142. Third order, we order Q again, which is 142. So how many times are we going to make those orders? We're going to make them 14,79 times all, or 15 orders. You can keep it that way. So this is how we find N. Now we need to find C, uh, TC, which is the annual order. Now remember that uh, from the formula sheet that we got this way, this is how we got the annual holding cost. I mean, the annual setup cost. So, we need first of all to find the holding cost, and then we'll find the, I mean, the annual holding cost, and then we'll find the rest. So, this is how we find the annual holding cost. I mean, all uh, the annual setup cost, and this is how we found the setup, the holding cost. I'm just copying the formulas for just to save time. Yeah. Now, in this case here, we need first of all to find the annual setup cost, or we can start by holding cost. No matter what, uh, what to start with, it's still the same. So the formula for the setup cost is D multiplied by S divided by Q. The D is 2,100 that we need to multiply by S, which is 12 rand, and we divide everything by Q, which is 100 and... Um, Oh, by the way, sorry, I really made a mistake when it comes to annual. I use 142. Actually, we still get an answer, uh, the same answer, but for calculation purpose, the 142 here is an extrapolation of 141,99. So it's better for us to keep 141,99 here that we divide. But I think I'm pretty sure the answer won't really be uh, different. So here we got one, uh, we got 14,70. Yeah, the answer is still the same. But for calculation purpose, it's always better to keep the full number here, I mean the original number, than the one that has been extrapolated. 
So that means in this case here for to come back to the annual cost is 2,100 times 12 and we, we divide by Q which gives us 141,99. So it's 200 uh, multiplied by 12 divided by 141,99. And the answer that we get is, remember that this one is a cost so it um, 177 comma 47 rand so whatever we get in this case here this is uh our how do you call it sorry i'm having a problem with my computer yeah so whatever we get the 140 uh the 177 comma 47 rand or 48 rand yeah is the annual setup cost then we need to do the same for the annual holding cost the formula is q divided by two and then we multiply by h here so q divided by 2 is 100 let's let put bracket here 141,99 that you're gonna divide by 2 and then we're gonna multiply everything by the holding cost based on our problem here the holding cost is 2.5 rand so that means you get 141,99 divided by 2 that you multiply by 2.5 and the answer that we get is 177,449 because it's 48. Now, uh, you will realize that generally the holding cost, the annual setup cost, and the annual holding cost are generally the same. Why are they the same? Generally, it's because of Q. Remember, we said that Q is the optimal quantity, meaning that it, it is at this cost whereby the annual step cost is the same as the annual holding cost. So if we use uh, a Q that was an optimal, generally we find different values. But as we said, in the normal condition, the annual holding cost is generally the same as the annual setup cost. In some cases, it might it might vary, but it's the special case. So yeah. Now to come back to our calculation to the total cost. Remember, we are calculating the annual cost only to find the total cost. So this is the formula, which means we need to take um the old the, the annual holding cost, which is hundred and seventy seven comma forty nine plus the annual ordering cost or setup cost which is 174 77 comma 48 now the value that we get 177 comma 49 plus 177 comma 48 so the value that we get is approximately 354,97 so what we get here is the annual cost yeah so this yeah we've done about the first part of the question so we found q and after us, I'm going to highlight everything after. So this is how we found Q, and this is how we found the calculation for the first part. Now, whatever we got here was only the first part here about determining, uh, how do you call it, about determining, let me put it like this, blue, etc. So it's about the first part here. So we need to find about the second part that says that if through automation, the purchasing process or ordering cost can be cut to four range, what would be the new economic value so in other words what they mean is what is going to happen if our how do you call it our ordering cost or setup cost is four now we say like what if so what if we got this we have a d that is the same and the setup cost is different like instead of 12 we have four dollars here so what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy and paste everything that we got before, so since the same. So what if we get this? This is another question that we need to solve. Now from here, what if we get this? We need to find Q again. So it's the same thing. The only difference is like the setup cost. Let me check it again for confirmation purpose. Yes, the setup cost. Yeah, ordering I told. So now what they say is like what if instead of 12 we have a four year our, our calculation going to be so we're going to get the uh, two multiply uh, two multiply by two 100 times four divided by 2.5 so the answer that we get here instead of this we are getting uh 81 comma 97 or 98 yeah 
h1,98 and then in terms of units we're gonna say we're gonna get 83 unit now this is how it affects so we're gonna make a conclusion when we're done solving everything so now after the q we need to find the n now the n is gonna be a variable of the q because in this case here the q that we use is gonna be 82 98 now in that case it's gonna be 200 uh, 2,100 divided by 82,98 and the value that you get is 25,21 so in this case here is 25,81 I mean yeah or we can make it 25 orders per day now you will realize that the less number of units we order the more we're going to make many order during the year so if for example our Q was 500 probably will make less number of units uh, less orders than uh if we had a queue of 20 for example now this is an end that means we need also to find after finding n we had to find for the total holding cost now to find the total holding cost we had uh, we we need to find how do you call it this part here so we'll start from the total holding cost. This is that the total cost is equal to this. There's a formula, and the annual setup cost is equal to this. Now the annual setup cost in this case here is the D multiplied by S. Remember now S is not 12 anymore. S is 4. Now that mean is 2,100 multiplied by 4 divided by even the value of our Q is not the same anymore. The value of the value of our Q is 82,98. So the value that we get is divided by 82,98 and we get a value of 101 instead of 170. So we get 101,23 rand. This is the annual setup cost. Now the annual holding cost is going to be Q divided by 2. Remember the value of Q, I think it was 82,98. Yeah, 82,98 that we divide by 2. So we have 82,98 that we divide by 2 and we multiply by 2.5. Now, the answer that we get is 105, uh, 103. Again, this is a reminder of what I said. You realize that in this case here, the holding cost and the annual cost are not really the same, but they are approximately the same. So that's why you will generally uh, get. But if you don't get it, it's still okay, but uh, it could be an opportunity for you to check back to our calculations. But if you get them right, you'll find that they're the same, and then that's why you don't even need to come back to your calculation again. So now, the annual holding cost here would be the 103,73 plus uh, 101,23. So the value that we get is 103,73 plus 101,23. So you get uh, 204. 96. So the 204,96 the total cost. But now what really happened? Let me just highlight the main things here. First of all, we started with the holding cost. Uh, let me. Uh, we started with the Q, which is this, and after the Q, we went to a N. Let me put it in blue, and then we did the total cost calculation. Now total cost total cost calculation. We had first of all to find the annual holding cost, where I'm gonna put it. I think it's orange. And then is it orange? Oh, okay, let's say it orange. And then we have the other color. Um, let me give it not green, not gray. Let me give it this color. So we found we had first of all to find the annual ordering cost and the annual ordering cost or setup cost. And this is where we find we this is what we we found for the annual setup cost. And then after we went for this one for the annual holding cost so we got those two values that we're going to take them and then this one is the annual holding cost which is yellow and then we have the annual setup cost which is gold i think yeah so the two answers that we got this is even the total cost that we're supposed to find and this is almost the same thing now in the second part of the question they say that what if instead of having a setup cost of 12 we got a setup cost of four. What is going to happen? This is what we did. So again, we found we replaced S by four instead of twelve. So we got this, which is um, the Q. I'm sorry for the colors that were not necessary, but yeah, at least just get my idea. So yeah, this is the Q, 
and then the n the n was also affected because the q changed now the n was blue and then after we have the, uh, this one for the holding cost that was orange i think and then we have the annual ordering cost that was gold plus this yeah so the and then these are the calculations that we find for the setup cost like this and annual holding cost that was orange in fact this is the this is what happened and then the, uh, the holding cost we added the same values again now what just really happened now you realize that first of all let's compare the queues first of all we had a queue of 142 and the other one we got a queue of uh, 82 so that means that by the time we reduce our setup cost you realize that the number of units that we need also to order is going to decrease not even for the number of units same thing applies also to uh n and in this case here it's not really order it's not really decreasing it's increasing because you got less unit that before we are ordering 142 but now we are ordering 83 now which means that you're gonna make more orders for it so yeah now i think this is all about this video yeah this is all about the basic economic model now i'm just going to do another video a third part of this chapter that's going to be about the production uh, model and then we'll do a third video about the discount model in short thank you again for your time and again i really 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 apologize for the quality of the sound for these videos yeah i hope that i'm gonna uh, improve for the next chapter and so on so thank you so much for your time and i really hope that this video was helpful thank you so much so Enjoy your time and whenever you have a question, you can comment on the video. Thank you so much again.